It's another beautiful day at the man cave, so let's open up the garage door and build us a diorama. Stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the man cave and we haven't done a diorama in a long time and my friend Craig asked me if I could make him a lunar surface diorama. He has a lot of space 1999 figures I guess or spaceships that he just wants to display and the display had to be 27 inches wide, 12 inches deep and no more than nine inches high to fit on his shelf size. So here's what I'm down to, or started with. Uh, of course, the one inch foam base. I made my cuts along the outside just to give it some detail. And what I did here was uh, just took a piece of foam core, black, for the black background, and uh, cut a little divot and fit it in there. So I'm not using any magnets on this. Um, let me remove the back to show you. So there you go. It's just a uh, just a groove I cut in there just to fit the uh, foam core. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna make some uh, some craters utilizing just some towel uh, insert, toilet paper, paper towel, cardboard, whatever, and uh, some sculpt mold. And hopefully turn this into a, uh, a lunar base. Okay, so I've cut some circles. And those will be my craters. Or at least give me some uh, diameter for craters. And I will build up around that. And next thing is to uh, start adding the compound. Now that was just one batch. Which was that 2 to 1 ratio. It had dried super quick. This has not even been 10 minutes after I started it. And uh, you can see I just used my fingers and uh, just molded it around there, kind of looking like a, a crater surface, I guess, if you will. I'm probably going to add some sand, light sand to that, and some rocks in there. But uh, for the size of this, I'm probably going to have to make at least two more batches to uh, cover the surface. Okay, so now that this is dry and dried pretty quick due to the nice weather we're having outside and the fact that this stuff dries fairly quickly, I'm taking all these little extra pieces of foam. I'm going to be hot gluing them around each crater to look like the moon surface was lifted up and uh, hopefully that'll uh, turn out the way I want it to. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken all those little pieces and I've put them around all the different craters. I know right now you're probably looking at the same man, he just ruined it, but trust me, when it's all painted the same color, it's not going to look like little piles of rocks. It'll look like a blasted crater and everything on the inside will be nice and smooth and everything on the outside will be nice and rocky, just like we want. Next step is I usually take Mod Podge or Elmer's glue or something a little bit stronger and I will start putting in some gravel. It doesn't really matter what color because you're going to be uh, putting all the, painting all the gravel and the rocks all the same gray or black or whatever moon surface color you'd like. Okay, so this is fairly dry so I put a black coat of paint on. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio black and water so you can see how that blends everything together and now let's just wait for it to dry okay so to soften up these hard edges because I didn't want it straight up looking like a volcano kind of thing just use some uh, spackle here and just kind of groove down the edges and that'll soften them up <clears throat> probably should have done that earlier but uh, after looking at it for a while here, I said, nah, we need to soften those up. Looks too much like a circle, <laughs> too much straight. So this kind of made it, you know, cone shape, which is what happens when a, when a crater hits. So finishing these three, letting them dry, and then we'll do the paint. Okay, so after I hit the spackling 
to smooth out the walls, I added some fine gravel and then I hit it with a very large coating of Mod Podge, watered down Mod Podge, so making sure everything sticks and it'll also hold that spackling in place in case it decides to crack a little bit. The Mod Podge and water it down a little bit and uh, this will take about a day to dry and then uh, paint. Okay, so now it's time to work on the background. I have uh, two things going on. One, I'm just gonna leave the back side of this black. So if he just wants a simple black background, it'll be there. The other side, we're gonna put on some type of moon craters, something like this. The problem with this is, this is 27 inches long, I think. My printer only prints eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna have to do something like this and hopefully match these up and cut them and fit them. So that's where I'm at right now. Trying to find three pictures that I can match up at least the ground level, not look too off, not have two moons, obviously, and uh, still make it look half decent when it's in the background. Okay, so here's what I did. Uh, I found one picture that I liked out of all the prints that I could find of Moonscape. And I printed it three times and I kind of overlapped it. You can kind of see here the the overlap a little bit probably here with the color change a little bit but that was the best I could do to fit it on 27 inches and I think looking at it with figures in front of it or whatever he's gonna put in front of you're really not gonna notice <clears throat> and what I did here is I just trimmed along the top so I didn't have any of that black and now that black all all matches so I didn't use the, uh, the black background that's on this because it was way too shiny way too off color so course you're not going to see this that's what's going to be inside the foam underneath so once it's imprinted uh, planted in that foam that's what we're looking at and again the other side I think I'm just gonna leave plain black in case he doesn't like that okay so here we are the very next day and everything is dry even the inside of the craters this is all dry now I contacted my friend Craig and I showed him the background that I originally had up there and he was whining. He was like a little girl whining. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. He, he, you know, I have two daughters and they don't whine as much as he does. He's like, where's the earth? I gotta see the earth. I wanna see some stars. So I'm like, really dude? So I had to make a second background with the earth in it. So he has his options, whether he wants that side or, or this side, which I think looks a lot better, especially after I go ahead and uh, do my paint job on this. I actually made it to match this side and it doesn't look as bad, but we'll see. Craig has to have what Craig has to have and I'm picking on him because I know he's gonna see this video. <laughs> so I used a combination of this suede color as well as this cobblestone. I did a little mixing dry brushing and I think I'm pretty close to the color of the background to make it match as best I can. It kind of changes in the light, so it's hard to tell from the camera probably, but uh, I think I'm gonna leave it at this, see what it looks like as it dries. But this was just two brushings of two different colors. And on top of that black, I think it uh, blends in fairly nicely. And here is the finished product. I think the uh, this background goes a lot better with it, so I'm going to leave that up. But Mr. Craig can change it if he likes. Paint is dry. It's ready for pickup. Hopefully he'll enjoy this. He can set his Space 1999 uh, ship right down there. I'll take some pictures with the one and only astronaut that I have, Buzz Aldrin here. But Buzz is a little bit uh, too big in scale for this uh, diorama. But... Uh, Hopefully uh, Craig will enjoy this. Thanks for watching.